Hey guys, Jess Halleck here. Today I'm gonna go over the difference between the original and the layered. And when I first made videos, I consistently said that the original was more for people with fine hair and the layered was more for people with thick hair. But it's been some years and I've realized that you can wear both. Both hair types can wear both. It's just different scenarios. And anyway, I gotta point it out so you guys know. So I have thick hair. My texture is fine, but I have a lot of it. So with my cut personally, I have made sure that my ends are not super blunt. So when I go to my stylist, I've made sure to just snip out some of the weight on the bottom just so it's not super heavy because I like to wear an original or layered all the time. Um, but I have had very blunt where it's like a harsh line and then there's more of a difference of when I can wear an original or not. So I'm gonna start with the layered. In general, if your hair is my texture or coarse or curly or anything like that, but it's thick, you're gonna to wanna to go with a layered when you're adding a lot of length. You'll see with an original that I can add an inch or so, but if I'm wanting to add a lot of length, I need more transition because of the way um, the two halos are structured. So the layered, is the fullest through the middle and then tapers off. So each length has where it's the fullest. A 14 inch is the fullest around like your cheekbone and then your the layered 18 is the fullest by like a uh, chin, neck area, and then a layered 22 is the fullest about your shoulders. So look at where your thickest point is in your hair and that's more where we're gonna be geared towards. So the layered 18 inch is gonna give me oh, five, six inches. Another thing to keep in mind is I am five, two on a good day. <laughs> so your height does matter. And also where you place them on your head will determine how long it is on you. Um, if I wear it higher up, it'll be shorter. If I wear it further back, it'll be longer. So keep that in mind as well. But I just want to show you the, the difference. So a layered 18. I wear the 22. I also wear the 14. They're just different. But if I'm wanting to add length, I need a good amount of weight, thickness, where I need it. So visually, look at where it's the thickest point. It's thickest here. Here's my hair. And if I was, if I was even more blunt, let's say I was like almost all one length, really thick, then I would go to a 22 inch and I would cut it to an 18. So before I pull my hair down, this is the one I wear most of the time. I've also cut uh, my layered 18 to a 16. I have another one that I've done that with, but this one hasn't been cut. This is a full length 18 inch. So visually look at where it fills out and then it tapers off. And if I were to do a 22, it would be thick here and then continue down. But if I want to add a lot of length, this is the difference. Okay, so then if I go the original route. And also color-wise, I wanted to show you, this one um, is balayaged. This is like a solid platinum, and then we just did a root on it. Okay, and then this is the original. So this is an original 16, and you can see it's flat through the middle, and then it gets thicker at the ends. So for someone with, this, is, this was the difference that I realized thick hair could wear originals, is because we have a lot of uh, weight towards the ends, and so if we're just wanting to add like an inch or two of length, we don't necessarily need a layered unless we love that look and we want that much hair because the, the layers are 30% thicker than the originals. But if we don't want all that thickness, um, because this is the fullest at the ends, it's, it's very full right here. So it's gonna balance out and continue like how full I am right here but just an inch or two. If I wanted to add a lot of length, the reason it doesn't work, like if I were to do a 20 inch original, is because then this flat area is flat to like here, and then it's thicker down here. So I'm gonna lose this area to transition and it would look really funny, which is why I have to do a layered when adding a lot of length because of my texture. But if not, I love having an original. When I do a consult in person, um, well, I'll show you the layered and the original every single time because you have an option and it really is just preference. And kind of no matter which one you get, you end up wanting the other one at some point, just because there's a place for both. 
So this one has not been cut whatsoever. No layers, no nothing. It's not been rooted. Um, this is just a highlight low light. Also keep in mind for color, if you're staying close to your length, uh, you can do one with more dimension, which is what this one is for me. If I was adding a lot of length, I don't know if I would do that, but because it's just like two inches, it's not a big deal. So look at the shape. I feel like it's easiest to see without my, without my hair down. So you see how it's still flat, meaning that like my hair is still the thickest uh, poking out, but on the ends, and this isn't even all of it, there's more in the back here. Like look how much fullness is at the bottom. And if I did just a little bit of layering through here, I can comfortably add an inch or two and it's not a big deal. If your hair is very thick and blunt, then you need to cut it within an inch of your length so that you could keep your very blunt ends and not have to texturize at all. But I love to wear my hair without a halo as well. So I think it's important to make sure that I still love my hair without a halo. So I don't want to crazy texturize my ends and feel thin because I worked for that. So asking your stylist to almost just kind of point cut your ends or adding just a little bit of layering, not like, not dramatic, but just so like the bottom two inches of your hair have a little bit of layering. That makes a massive difference so that you can wear both. So let me show you when it's down. And this is honestly majority of what I will wear in the summer because it's so lightweight and it's so close to my length. That's kind of my MO. Um, I'll add, I'll wear my longer one when I'm like going out or if I want to do a fun braid or something and I want like more hair. But for my everyday, this has become my everyday. So this is an original 16 and I know you're gonna ask. So let me show you the back because the back is also usually the tell. You have to keep your top layer at least texturized. Let me show you. See how it blends? Part of that is because I picked the one with dimension. If I would have gone with my normal, which is like the solid platinum ends, it's not as forgiving and blending when it comes to the original, at least on my hair. So I went with the highlight low light just for additional insurance so keep that in mind if you have a couple and you're like i want to try something different but like i like my color we customize them in-house and we do a lot of really cool things to them so just tell me what you're looking for and send me some inspiration pictures but i wanted you to see in person the difference and that you can do both it's just different scenarios so i'm going to grab someone who's got fine hair and also do a video with her uh, just for visual because fine hair can wear original and layered too it's just Again, a visual. So if this is the first time you're seeing halos, um, I will put a form in the description or a link to it so that you can fill it out and then it'll send me a notification. I can reach out to you directly and we can start our consultation of just like asking questions of what's your goals with your hair? What are you wanting to achieve with it? Uh, you know, why do you want a halo? Have you worn extensions before? All those things and we can figure out color and um, decide any customizing that needs to be done and then I can ship it directly to you. So I do all of this virtual and I have a team that helps me prep everything and we ship directly to you and then we have lots of content otherwise so that you can know how to take care of your halo after you have it. So I hope that helps. Let me know in the comments if you have any more questions and like I said, I'll make another video with someone with really fine hair too.